How's it going guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and I've got my hands on Madden 15 early to share some gameplay with you guys and show you what this year's game is all about. This is my very first game playing Madden 15 on the PlayStation 4. You're going to see me play as my favorite team, the Minnesota Vikings, for the first time in TCF Bank Stadium. And why not try this out in the snow? I always like playing with the elements, I'm not sure why. I, I like the chaos, it usually brings to the game a lot more fumbles most of the time. But we're going to go into this first game, I've cut it up like I would a normal game. And I'm going to show off a lot of the presentation elements and talk about some of the improvements to this year's game. But right off the bat, we have the brand new kicking meter, which this is my first time trying it out. It's not a great kick, but we're underway, and Blair Walsh booms it to Jeremy Ross, who takes it from about the goal line. Can't really see. And there's a solid open field tackle by Andrew Sindejo. But a lot of the things you're going to notice in this are presentation. I highlight that a good bit, and you can see the, the quarterback intro. I like the, the clip there with the stats for Matthew Stafford. And now at the bottom of the screen, you can see the matchups for every single pass-catching target on the team, but they run it with Reggie Bush. And by the way, this is on all Madden difficulty. I'll probably be playing all of these videos on all Madden just because that's what my franchise will eventually be on, some sort of variation of all Madden sliders. But here's something, one of the big things I was hyped about. The defensive cameras are here, and the player lock is also added to the game. And, uh... Josh Robinson can't tackle Brandon Pettigrew, and I missed anyway. You'll see me really whiff on a lot of these tackles and player lock because I'm not used to the movement yet. The game feels a little bit different from Madden 25 in a good way, as I actually get Pettigrew this time, sort of. But uh, I'm still getting used to the player movement, and my franchise was on the PlayStation 3 last year, so I haven't spent too much time with Madden on the PlayStation 4 yet, but I'll be playing a lot this first week, obviously. I've been super hyped up to get the game and share it with you guys. More presentation here, we see the lineups for each side. They only show 10 players on offense, so they don't highlight the quarterback. Probably to keep each graphic with five players, I would assume. But in this gameplay, I wanted to give you guys a lot of the player lock camera angle because I've been super excited about it, although not that good with it right now. And I also wanted to show some of the standard angle as well, just so you can see the, the gameplay from the angle you're going to be playing most of the time, probably, as the Lions cannot convert a third down and long, they kick a field goal, so now it's time to get my hands on the football. For the first time this year, it's core Daryl Patterson on the return. Feels much faster in Madden 15, but not much of a return. Only out to the 26. We got higher standards with my guy Cordero. And now it's Teddy Bridgewater engineering the offense, handing off to Adrian Peterson, but not much room outside. Castle has been playing well in the preseason, but I gotta play with Teddy Bridgewater. Let's have Teddy drop back. He'll throw for the first time and dump it off to Adrian Peterson and escapes a couple defenders. And that is a first down catch. Now this camera angle you see here for the basic gameplay, it's a lot like the one I use in my franchise, which is the zoomed camera angle. I found that out early in Madden 25 and it became my favorite because it was closer to the action. And you can see some pressure given up. I notice a lot more pressure on next gen Madden versus last gen, both Madden 25 and this game. And now, deep for Cordero Patterson, but again, can't get the big play. One on one coverage down the field, gotta take a shot. So we'll give it back to the Detroit Lions who come out. We'll go with Jamarcus Sanford now, trying to get some plays here in player lock, but I'm just overrunning most of these plays and still getting used to the movement. Let's try D-line, Everson Griffin. And can't get off the left tackle. There's Reggie Bush helping out as there's a catch outside for a few. But one of the things I didn't actually realize until I was actually editing was the realization of, oh yeah, they changed all of the pass rushing controls this year to buttons and not the sticks. So the whole time, I was trying to use the sticks. So... Make sure you get used to that, the whole um, finesse and power moves being handled now with the face buttons. But we get the football back, we got third down and seven, there's a catch for Greg Jennings. We'll speed past the cornerback and there's a first down. And before I forget any longer, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Madden 15 to come up a bunch of videos leading up to release and of course after release. And I'm looking for some suggestions for the first videos to make. This was, of course, every year I always play a game with the Vikings and feel the game out and try to share that. 
We'll go to a screen now, and it's a tight throw, but we somehow get that to core Daryl Patterson up the sideline again for a Vikings first down. But here's another guy I want to see how dangerous he can be in Madden this year. Running back Jarek McKinnon trying to set up the screen, but there's immediate pressure from Nick Fairley. Losing the ball, and Big Phil is able to pick it up for us. I just want to get my guys the ball in the open field and see what they can do with the Lions playing pretty solid defense. McKinnon is still out there. We'll send him on a wheel route and find him for about maybe five or six yards. So third down, clock winding down in the first half. Jarek McKinnon is still in there. Three wide formation, and there's a catch for Jerome Simpson over the middle. Reaching behind him and pulling it in. And we'll hurry it up. And you'll notice when these guys hurry up, they're not lollygagging. They're getting back to the line. Teddy's not just standing around and being the last guy there. He's there. They snap it. Spike it. Let's go. Now Bridgewater is a tight throw again. Kyle Rudolph inside the five-yard line. We'll run up again. Spike it. But now, third down and goal. Play action, Teddy. Chased by Ezekiel Ansah. touchdown, Rhett Ellison. The first touchdown for me this year is from the Vikings blocking tight end on a throw from Teddy Bridgewater. Pretty solid coverage, actually, but a good throw by Teddy. And that leads us to halftime, and I'll show the sequence here leading to halftime and the highlights that they show. It's a nice added touch. Of course, they brought in somebody from NFL Films this past year to work on presentation, and I think it's produced some really nice results. I like this. Here we see replays along with where it took place, the score at that time. We have stats trickling in at the very bottom, but one gripe I have is that the stats shown there are only the quarterback and top running back for each side. There's no defensive standouts or a wide receiver. I wish that was in there, but it's still a nice added touch. And you can see the Teddy Bridgewater touchdown there again. And let's go on now to the third quarter. Alright, Cordero, we have another shot at this one. There's the kick. I called the wrong return play. We'll see if we can do something with this. And Cordero goes down by the first guy who makes contact. We'll go back to offense. Scored a touchdown last time, and now we'll run it. Haven't found many running lanes trying to power on with Adrian Peterson. So let's try a three tight end set. Brandon Fusco pulls, good block, and there's Adrian Peterson finally breaking one loose into Lions territory. Well, these rushing yards have not been handed to me, at least on these first few carries. Teddy passes to Patterson. He has to reach down a little bit to make the catch, which is something I've been wanting to see now. For a while, I don't like seeing all these catches being made at the numbers. Every throw isn't perfect, and very few actually are. And we're also seeing a lot more pass rush. Some great blitzing now from the Lions. You'll see how they dialed this one up. They bring a member from the secondary untouched, and then it's Webster finishing off Teddy Bridgewater. We'll see a third down and seven now from the Lions, 27. And Teddy throws middle, and there's Greg Jennings. That is a first down. I really like this Vikings offense. If there's a team I had to recommend to you guys who want to play connected franchise or the team who maybe isn't dominant, I definitely recommend the Vikings. They have a lot of talent on offense, a new rookie quarterback, and then on defense, they have some holes and also some really young guys who have some potential. We'll go to third down and four now, and Teddy finds Kyle Rudolph this time for a first down. Getting the hang of these short passes, you're not seeing me really take too many chances down the field yet. Sixth yard line now, and touchdown Jerome Simpson! The defender tried to reach his arm out, but Teddy gets it past him, and Jerome Simpson makes this a two-score game late in the third quarter. I like the whole video board, and then we see the actual scoring summary once it's done, and we can see Teddy Bridgewater's stats on that specific drive. I just wish those graphics were on the screen for a little bit longer, and uh, wouldn't just leave so fast. But you can see a lot of these when the quarter changes, it acts like a transition to a commercial break and then transition back from it. I like that addition. But now fourth quarter football. And we're trying to stop the Lions' pursuit here as Brandon Pettigrew is out of bounds after a short gain. Not seeing any Eric Ebron. He must be number two or three on the depth chart. Third down and seven now. Controlling Chad Greenway, but Stafford fires right complete to Ryan Broyles for a first down. Both quarterbacks pretty accurate in this first game. Now I got Josh Robinson on Megatron. This should be fun. But it's thrown underneath, and I can't make the tackle. I went for an aggressive dive there, and obviously you saw the result. Joyke Bell with a nice gain. Now to the 28-yard line. And Stafford fires right. Caught by Calvin Johnson. First time really seeing him get in the action in this game. 
The Lions now, they're threatening down to the 13. Great protection again. Stafford buys some time and dumps it over the middle to Brandon Pettigrew. They're now only two yards away from making this a one-score game. Goal line packages. Hand off Reggie Bush. Touchdown Detroit. And now they're going to go for two to make this a field goal game. Stafford trying to evade some pressure. He throws and somehow this ends up in the hands of Calvin Johnson. Nicely done, Stafford. Megatron makes the catch. We have a three-point game, and we'll see if we can run this clock out. We're going to run it. Toss it to the left. There's Adrian Peterson. Get him outside, but stay in bounds. A short pick up here. I'm just going to keep running it. If you can stop Adrian Peterson, then you deserve the football. Hand off Adrian. There's a spin move and a first down. that will bring us to the two-minute warning. So now the pressure is on the Lions even more. We even got a screen here for the two-minute warning. I like that. High formation. Adrian Peterson and still not giving up much room. A gain of a couple. So the moment of truth. Third down and three. A three-wide formation. Hand off Adrian Peterson. And he will not get the first down. The Lions hold strong. And they're going to have a shot down by three. Jeff Locke to punt this one away. Jeremy Ross to return. And he's got a little bit of running room. And a great tackle made by Audie Cole. So here comes the Lions. Can I hold strong on my first game of Madden 15? Trying to come off the edge. There's Everson Griffin. Can't get a good jump. And the pass goes short right. Caught by Pettigrew as a first down. And they have plenty of time to work with to at least get in the field goal range. They're at the 46-yard line now trying to send Captain Munderland from the secondary. Stafford steps up and delivers to Reggie Bush. And that's another solid gain that gets him close to a first down. They're nearing field goal range, maybe 9, 10 more yards, and they'll be there. Stafford dropping back, short again, Reggie Bush, and he's hit hard by Josh Robinson. Hurt on the play, but they're at the 37-yard line. So now it's long-distance field goal range, and a third down and 15 now for the Lions. They've got to get a few yards. Stafford short. Pettigrew catch. That takes them to the 31. And this will be a 48-yard field goal attempt. We'll see if the Lions can tie this one up. Kick is up, and it is good. Lead surrendered, and now 37 seconds to let touchdown Teddy do his work. Teddy on second down. Middle cut by Jerome Simpson. There's a first down. And we got to stop the clock with a timeout. One left, 24 seconds to go. Spreading the field with four wide receivers. Teddy now taking a shot for Greg Jennings, and he can't hang on. The second deep ball that appeared to be a drop. Third down and 10 now. And there's the blitz incoming, but Rudolph with the catch, and he will not get the first down. That makes it fourth and one. And we're going for it. It's exhibition football here. We're just going to be aggressive. No overtime. Motioning Kyle Rudolph out to the right. Ten seconds to go on fourth down. And Bridgewater will take a shot. It's up for grabs and almost intercepted. I didn't get the hot road I wanted. I thought I had told Kyle Rudolph to do an out route. And when I saw he didn't go out, I kind of panicked and just threw it deep to Cordero. It didn't work out. And now Giorgio Telvecchio for the win. Left hash. Kick is up. And I have been daggered by the Detroit Lions in my first game of Madden 15 at home, in the snow, and that's the way it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this first look from me at Madden 15, and leave a like if you enjoyed, and comment below your thoughts on this game. And one of the other videos I want to bring to you is kind of a preview to my Sammy Holland series, my safety that'll be on Madden 15. I'm going to play a game with a safety in the NFL. I was going to pick Harrison Smith, but I just gave you guys Vikings gameplay. So comment below who you want to see me play as in one game as a safety. Just comment below. And the one who gets the most, I'll try to do a game with him. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you with more Madden 15 very soon.